Hello everyone, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Sarah, also Sarah's Faves on Instagram. And I leave for Kenya in four days. It is Saturday, June 1st. I leave Wednesday, June 5th. My hair is very dirty. I did not shower after teaching yoga today, so apologies for that. But I leave in four days for Kenya. I've never been to Africa. This is my first trip that I'm going on out of the summer. After Kenya, I go home for a little bit. I go to Charleston for a wedding. I also stop in Amsterdam on the way back from Kenya to Boston. So I'm counting that as like I'm going to Europe for like a literal three hour layover. But I'm just saying that because I didn't go to Europe this summer and I typically do with work, we're just gonna say that that checks that box off. And then I go to Australia and then Japan. So if you're new here, I work for a travel company, which is why I travel a lot. It is very fun, but also can be quite exhausting. I am very grateful, but yeah, it is hard to get out of my routine considering I am very routine based. But I leave for Kenya in four days. It is with work, but it's for fun. So I'm going with a bunch of my coworkers who are also my friends and I'm very excited. However, a lot that goes into preparation for traveling to Africa, um, specifically for Kenya. And there were a lot of vaccines that we needed. Obviously check with your doctor beforehand, but I got the malaria pills that we will start taking. I got the typhoid vaccine and then yellow fever as well. So those are the vaccine that you need, vaccines that you need, and they're a specific like amount of time that you need in order to get them. So a bunch of stuff that you'll definitely want to read up on before you do ever go to Africa. And you can watch this video as well because I'll share a lot of tips here too. But give this video a thumbs up and let's get started and dive into what I packed, what I'm bringing and all things Kenya. This morning I went to Target and obviously a trip wouldn't be complete without a Target haul. So I got a couple of things. I also ordered stuff off of Amazon. I also went to Costco to get some like UPF shirts and stuff like that. So I was gonna have this vlog be a pack and prep with me to go, but I already packed. My bag is next to me. It is basically packed. I am not gonna unpack it for the vlog, but I figured I would have this vlog just be like prep and travel with me. So we won't be doing really much packing besides probably like my carry-on and the finishing touches on my bag. For Africa specifically, for the itinerary that we're going on, you need soft sided luggage. So you can't bring like an away suitcase or a mono suitcase or whatever. So I will link this below but I just got this Yeti, I think it's called the crossover duffel in this like beautiful green color. It fits on the plane, it said, so I don't have to check it. There's a 40 liter and 60 liter. I went with the 40 liter, which is this one right here. And I won't fully unpack, but I'll show you all like the hidden pockets and stuff just so you can see. Definitely was pricey. I think it was $200, but Billy was able to get a discount through work. So I paid like 130. I was looking at the CalPAC backpack, but it was a similar price, more expensive. And I wanna bring my Lululemon backpack with me as a carry-on, like as my personal item, I mean, and have that be my carry-on. So that's why I went with that. I'm very excited for it. I feel like it's a good like weekender bag. It's super sturdy so it will hold up really well i had a patagonia duffel for my sister but i think it got stolen out of our garage when we got a couple things including my paddleboard stolen which was unfortunate but i went to target this morning so i got snacks i got some nests um i was gonna say necessaries necessities that we needed um or i needed for the trip so a couple things i got on amazon these um let me get them I got these water wipes for going to the bathroom when I'm there, but I was like, I don't need this many. I wanna say, yeah, 60 wipes. I was like, I really don't think I need all of these when I'm there. And I like to have these at home anyways. So it came in a pack of three. I have one in our bathroom, one in the guest bathroom, and then this can just be like an extra. So I bought the Huggies Natural Care um, Sensitive and Fragrance Feet Free. And there's 32 total because I got two packs. 
and they were 99 cents each. So I got those, which will go in my bag. And then I also got three of these just sport sunscreens from Target. Um, these weren't too bad. I want to say they were like 230, 250 each. So I got three of those and I needed travel size since I'm not checking a bag. So these will also go in my bag as well. And then I needed a new deodorant. Um, I like the Mega Babe. So I just got the Mega Babe Daily Deodorant. I think it's like a rosy scent. I like their other one that they have it's like a smoothie scent which kind of sounds really weird but it's like a bright pink one and i really like that so i wish they had that but they didn't so i got this one i was gonna get the anti-chafe stick the small one like it was actually this big it was maybe ten dollars and i was like no i i don't need that um so i got that and then i also got a new awala so i have the 32 ounce this is the 16 ounce so it's half the size half the amount of liquid in here and it's technically designed for kids but brianna tata has one i think carter has one i've been eyeing it at target for so long and i was like you know what i'm just gonna get it for my trip to kenya you can't drink the water there but i can like pour bottled water in here and bring with us on the go so i'm very excited it feels like there's nothing in here but it's full um it's definitely pricey it's like 22 dollars for this little thing i love this color my other one i don't have it in here but it's like an orangey pink color which I really like, so that I will pack in my carry-on, which I'm gonna set over here. Sorry I keep playing with my hair, but it's like, I feel like after I edit videos, I see it on the screen here and it's like, oh, it's fine. And then I edit the videos and my hair is dirty or something is sticking out, you know? So, anywho, I'm just gonna pull it back for now. And then the last thing, more snacks. So I have six protein bars packed in my bag already. They are the Aloha chocolate chip cookie dough. I really like these. 14 grams protein. So I feel like that's pretty good to just bring with me while I'm there. We have all of our meals included, which is awesome. Like we paid for that to be included. But I feel like I will just need a few snacks. You know, I want to carry that with me on the road. I'm going to want them on the plane. Like I have more to put in my carry on. And so if I can have one of those every morning, if like I don't like the breakfast or I want a little bit more to just throw in my bag or, you know, what have you. So I got those. And then I got these little chomps, chomplings. So they're a smaller version of the chomps. And one stick only has four grams of protein. So not as much as the bigger stick but these are just easier to travel with and honestly i have like three bites of a chomps and get kind of grossed out and skeeved out but i also wanted these for protein for the plane and for just when i'm there because we're going to be like in the safari vehicle a lot of the time like our meals are included like i said but there's not gonna be like a convenience store we can just stop and get snacks so i also have like a lot of medicine in my bag just in case like advil dramamine um gas x just things like that that like in case i'm feeling any sort of symptoms i have those there and then my roommate Kristen, who's my good friend is also bringing some stuff like that too which will be great and then i got dried sweetened mangoes the good and gather brand i've never had this one i usually get the one from trader joe's but this bag resealed and i just felt like it was easy i got the favorite day monster trail mix which is my favorite it's peanuts m m's milk or m m milk chocolate candies raisins milk chocolate chips and peanut butter chips it's so good and then i also have cashews that i'll probably bring as well and then I got the grain-free Siete Mexican wedding cookies. I have a pack of these at home and I literally bought them and I was like, yeah, whatever. They will be eaten. And then I got two things of smart sweets. They were on sale. So the watermelon and the sweetest fish ones for the plane. I got an apple that I'll have with this Justin's cinnamon almond butter as well on the plane because bananas don't keep well. And then I just got this gum. I've never tried the purr or however you say it gum, but I prefer peppermint to spearmint. So I got that. So those are my snacks. Those will go in my Lululemon backpack. And then once I'm like finished with them, I'll just put them in my bag. For my flights, I am flying from 
Austin to JFK. It's like four hours. I have a really short layover. It's like an hour, 20 minutes. So I probably won't have time to like go to the lounge or do whatever. So I'm just going to go on the flight, JFK to Nairobi. Hopefully there's no delays. Knock on wood. Um, but that flight is 14 hours total. The longest flight I've ever done is to Sydney, which is 16 hours. Um, and you just need to have things downloaded, like a book. Just, I like to go through different activities. So like I'll watch a little bit. I'll try to sleep. I'll read a little bit. I'll try to sleep. I'll listen to podcasts. So I just have a bunch of things downloaded, which is really nice. And I'll plan to do that on like Tuesday night before I leave when I charge all my devices. And then, so I have that flight and then I land in Nairobi. I get picked up by our tour guide and then I'm just going to go to the hotel and everyone lands later that night. So I'll have time to chill, to relax at the hotel, settle in, etc. And then on the way home, I am going, like I said, Nairobi to Amsterdam. That's like a nine hour flight. And then Amsterdam to Boston, which is seven and a half, eight hours. And then I'm staying in Boston Friday afternoon and night, Saturday, Sunday, and leave really early Monday morning to come back to Austin. And I get back on the 17th and then I leave the morning of the 19th for a wedding in Charleston. So very quick turnover. And I thought about staying in Boston until going to Charleston, but I was like, I'm not gonna pack my wedding stuff in like this small, tiny duffel. I'm not gonna have space. So I'm just gonna come back, reset, do laundry, and then leave. Um, and Billy is not coming to that wedding. Flights were expensive, he needs to work, etc. cetera. Um, it's with one of my home friends, so all my home friends will be there. Um, and I'm super stoked. I've never been to Charleston either. Uh, but back to Kenya. So that is my carry-on. And then I have a few things up on my dresser, like the converters, binoculars. I need to charge my headphones, obviously. Best things for a plane. I have no idea where my air fly is. And honestly, sometimes it doesn't even work. So I'll look for my air fly, get like my cords and stuff together. And then I'm gonna plan to show y'all some of what I packed and like the ins and outs of my duffel, but I'm not gonna show y'all a ton of that. Cause like I said, I don't feel like I'm packing it and I already packed it all. So that is my target haul. That is what I got for the trip. And then I'll show you guys a bit of my suitcase and stuff in a little bit. I forgot one thing that I got at Target, not super important, but I got a mini wet brush. I have a big wet brush and like I said, packing is limited. I didn't want to bring anything too big. So I just got this mini guy and this will be my hairbrush while I'm there. All right, so I have this little like base, small container and usually it has like lip gloss and stuff in it for work and then tampons and whatever. I'm not supposed to get my period, but I'm just gonna bring tampons in case like somebody might need them. And then I have like anti-diarrhea, some triple antibiotic, hydrocortisone cream, just like little things like that in here. And I'm gonna put all my medicine in this little thing and then put that in my bag. So this is the bag, as you can see, it has like little straps to clip everything in. And then it also what I really like has these dividers and you can put them down if you want, but like sports bras are here. So I know where those are. All my clothes are in this part. And then my toiletries, my snacks, my, um, what's it called? Bug spray. Oh my God, I couldn't think of the word is in there. And then it also has these little compartments. So in here, I put my Armra colostrum. And then on this side, I'm gonna put liquid IV, but I actually, I need to go to Costco. But I think I'm gonna go tomorrow. I don't think it's still open. And get liquid IV, because at Target, it's too expensive. And then in here, there's just this zipper pocket. Um, that is where I put like some of these off deep wood wipes and then some emergency if I need, a little thing of Kleenex. So all of that is in this zip bag. And then in this section is socks, underwear, the wet wipes. And then from Eddie Bauer, which you would have seen in a previous vlog, I got this like stowaway backpack that is also in here and I'll use that for the day trips. And then all of my toiletries are right here. Um, so this is sunscreen, toothpaste, all that kind of stuff, toothbrush, whatever I need in there. And then, oh yeah, this is what I wanted to show as well. It's like a little medicine thing in here. Just whatever I need. So Tums, Advil, Valtrex, I think 
Hepcid, Omeprazole, and Dramamine, Gasex, and then these are just like the Lemmy Matcha gummies, I think, for energy. So that is in there. And then I am gonna put the rest of like the smaller things in here, I think. But I also kind of like, I don't know, I like it in here because I wanna make use of these little zip pockets. But at the same time, I feel like they should all be like in one place. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna see how that feels, but like, yeah, all my clothes for a week are in here. And then when I get home to Boston, I'll just wash and rewear like whatever I have. But I basically just did like really simple over shirts, pants, a UPF shirt, a hat, obviously, long sleeve layers, short sleeve shirts, tank tops, etc. And then like one nice dress that I can wear for a couple different things. So that is where we are with the packing here. I read that you can't bring plastic bags. So I'm putting my sunscreen in this like reusable plastic bag, hoping that that works. And that way it doesn't leak with all my clothes because that's where she's going. Here's the status of the top of our dresser because a lot of these things are going in my carry-on, but I'm not gonna pack my carry-on yet. I'm gonna pack that like the night before probably. So everything is just out. Hi, Hobie. And then bag is on the bed. It's new, so not dirty, don't worry. And over here, what I'll bring for my nightstand is my eye mask, which has a cover in here. And then I got these earplugs. They are the Loops earplugs. Love them for sleeping because the cicadas have been out and they're so loud. And then I just have my blue light glasses. So those three things I will pack, but not yet because I need them for the next few nights of sleep. Good morning. It is bright and early on Monday. I leave Wednesday, but quick update. I went to Costco yesterday and I bought liquid IV. So I'm very excited. I got the strawberry and golden cherry flavors and I think I'm gonna take like eight with me I'm like I don't think I need one every single day and like in Kenya I'm actually gonna be on the ground there for like seven days so eight felt good and then the rest we can just have at home but I didn't realize liquid IV had like a little bit of a rebrand because we haven't bought them in a while but the packs look different they're like blue they were like whiter before I feel like I don't really know so I got those and then I got from Costco these little like yogurt bites that I love. They're like kind of like fruit snacky but covered in yogurt and I will bring those with me on the plane too. So plane snacks are covered. Just have to pick out my plane outfit. I have all my like blue lemon clothes to fold and put away and decide if I need to bring anything and then pack my carry on and I'll film that and then we should be good to go. I'm so excited. I can't believe I leave this week. I'm going to the office today and tomorrow just because I'm going to be out for the next Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then all of next week. So I'm going to go in the office, but I will record packing my carry-on probably on Tuesday night. We are going to do some shuffling around. I realized I packed too much black and it attracts the specific type of fly. And it's like, it's better if I just don't pack black, you know, maybe like one or two things. But I went to Old Navy and I got two tanks that I'll show. And then I got three t-shirts at Everlane that I'm going to bring um, as well. Besides the white, because white also is not good with the animals. And then I wore those pants to work today. But I'm going to pack them as well instead of the black option. So I'm going to shuffle through my suitcase now. Here's what I got. Very basic, simple safari colors. I got two... Old Navy Tanks medium and then three large Everlane t-shirts. They were each uh, $30, but it, they were doing like three for $60. So then they were each 20 and then these were like $13 each. Very perfect. And they match obviously the aesthetic of my bag. For shoes, I'm bringing my Burks cause they're like already dirty and beat up. And those will go on my carry on and then sneakers I still have to pack, pick out, but those I'm gonna wear on the plane. It is Tuesday, I leave tomorrow morning, and it's time to pack my carry-on. So I have all my snacks out, I just emptied my backpack, I'm gonna sort through and see what I'm gonna put in my carry-on. The only thing is, is I want to be able to edit this vlog, and I'm gonna obviously have y'all travel with me to Kenya. So I need my MacBook computer, but I also need my work computer because I have to work when I land in Boston that night, that Friday night, and then I need my laptop for that Monday morning. 
So I have to bring two computers, which makes my bag heavy. And I don't have my roller suitcase to like put my backpack on. It's gonna be on my back the whole time. Thankfully, I only have two flights, so it should be okay. But I know I have to do that. I'll bring one charger for the both of them because it's USB-C. And I like to like consolidate chargers when I can. So I can use my USB-C for my camera, my iPad, and my two computers. My Kindle needs a different charger, my Apple Watch, and then my phone. So I think that's all I need for chargers. And then I have my plane outfit picked out, which is just very wide leg -like pants, a gray t-shirt, and a gray sweatshirt, and then gray sneakers. All gray, basically, besides the pants. And yeah, so that's literally all I have to do. I'm on call tonight until 1 a.m. So that just started five minutes ago. So seven hour-ish on call shift. And then I think I'm gonna set my alarm for, my flight's at 7.30. So I think I'll set my alarm for like five and be out of here by like 5.20. I don't need that much time in the morning. I'll go to the Delta Lounge when I get there to get like a bite to eat, breakfast, and then coffee. But yeah, let's pack my carry-on. I also have this, which is like my little travel cord case that I like. It is kind of bulky in my carry-on, so I'm just gonna try not to like overstuff it. And my converters I already put in my other carry-on, like the bigger one, not my backpack. I decided to put all my snacks in a little Lulu bag. That way I can just like close it up and put it in my bag and they're not all roaming free, getting, I almost said getting hurt, getting crushed. And they're all in one place, so that's perfect. I have to bring this card home for my sister because she's having another baby. So I have another nephew on the way. And then the rest of the stuff can just be thrown in and still have to do the cords. Finished packing my carry-on backpack. I have my belt bag and my chargers, my plane outfit, and my bag is all zipped and sealed and packed and ready to go. And it's 11 o'clock, we're going to bed, waking up at 5 a.m. to leave for the airport. Family cuddle, Hobie. I'm gonna miss you. I love you. Today is the day. We are ready to go to the airport. It's 5.31. We were gonna leave at 5.30, but I'm running a little bit over time, which is fine. Everything is packed. Everything is good. I just have to put shoes on, and then we'll go to the airport. <laughs> Had 10 minutes and made it barely alive. But it's 1.11 and we're still boarding, so I should be good to go, but I am sweating. Exhausted. It is 12.50 p.m., which means it's actually, I think, I'm eight hours ahead. So it's 4.50 a.m. in Austin, but I made it to the hotel. The tour director picked me up at the airport. It was lovely, and we just had like a good chat for 30 minutes on the way to the hotel, all about Kenya and history and animals and cuisine and everything, and I'm so happy to be here. But I'm exhausted. I had to hustle from my JFK flight or my Austin to JFK flight to my Nairobi flight. They closed the doors within like 15 minutes of me getting there. So I was sprinting, I was sweating. I honestly probably would have been fine, but I didn't want to risk it. And then the flight here was 14 hours. So it wasn't bad. I slept for like two hours and then I read, I finished my book. I was reading just for the summer by Abby Jimenez and it was so cute. So I finished that and I've been on a kick of hers lately and like any romance for some reason. My voice is also very scratchy. And then I watched some YouTube that I downloaded. I just listened to music. We had like our meals and stuff, which you may have seen. I can't remember what I vlogged and what I didn't. And then I slept for another like two hours. So I've only gotten four hours of sleep. 
I am tired, but thankfully the rest of the group doesn't get here for another like nine or 10 hours. So I have this whole day to chill, which I'm very excited about to shower, relax, unpack a little bit. My shampoo fully exploded in my toiletry bag. So I had to throw out my toiletry bag because I could not get like the shampoo and like sudsiness out of it. So I just threw it out in the plane. I was like, whatever. It was old. I didn't, I was like, you know what? It's fine. And I got a little plastic bag from the flight attendant, which all my stuff is in right now. So I have to figure that out and probably we'll get, you know, some sort of like pouch or something when we're out exploring tomorrow at the markets. But I want to show you all our hotel room and then we'll see what we get up to today. And then I'm gonna end the vlog because then we'll start our Kenya vlog. All right, so here's the room. You walk in and a little hallway. This is the bathroom. It's very nice. I'm glad that they have shampoo and conditioner considering mine fully exploded. And here's just the mirror. Cute, I'm exhausted. This is like a little frosted window to the room. And then toilet, obviously, shower looks very nice. Has like a rain head attachment and another one as well. And then out here, before I get completely disheveled, is my stuff. We have a nice TV and Kristen and I's beds together. I'm so excited for our slumber party. Tissues on the nightstand, which is lovely. A little chair, a little desk situation, maybe some coffee, water, cause you can't drink the water here, um, like the tap water. So that is great that we have four waters. And then here's the view from our hotel. It is very cool. It is also cool outside which is lovely and a really nice change of pace from being in Austin where it's a million degrees. I think it's like 60 degrees right now, so it's perfect. But that is the room tour and there's the view. This is my current toiletry situation since my shampoo exploded on the flight. And so I had to ask the flight attendants for a bag. Granted, all of this wasn't in my toiletry bag, but I just throw everything in there at this point. So that is the current situation. I'm gonna take out what I use daily and go from there. But I just showered. It felt incredible. And I think my friend who's already here and I might go get massages because they have massages at this hotel. And my shoulders quite literally need that from carrying the duffel and backpack and everything all day. I just did my skincare and I'm in cozies, just shorts and a tee. But I swear to God, if I lay down, I'm gonna fall asleep. It's 121. I just have to power through because Kristen also gets here like on the flight at like 10 p.m. and they probably won't get here after like customs and everything until like 11, 11.30. So maybe I'll nap and then go to bed late like i can't decide what to do but i'm just so sleepy but the shower felt so good skincare felt so good this room is really nice so i feel i feel good i just woke up i napped for like two and a half hours it was lovely even though technically you're not not supposed to because it'll make your jet lag worse i also have this pimple on my chin that's like now a scab and it's quite literally the bane of my existence but one of the other girls and i are going to go to dinner it is 5 31 p.m so we'll go grab a bite and then we'll probably just lay low low-key hang out i want to start a new book i'm going to still watch my youtube and catch up and everything so i'll probably have some alone time after dinner oh look at that the color Just got back from a delicious dinner. We went upstairs to the restaurant and it was like Asian cuisine. So we got veggie spring rolls, I got chicken dim sum, and then chicken like haka noodles they called them. So just basically like the thinner kind of rice-ish noodle. And it was so good. And I am now showered again because I just was like, I wanna shower and get jammies and be cozy. And then the rest of the group gets here in probably like an hour and a half to two hours it's eight o'clock now so i think i'm gonna try and stick it out because i napped for two and a half hours earlier i should be fine but 
Again, room is nice, dinner was good. I'm excited to hopefully get some sleep tonight. You never know. I feel like I always, when I travel internationally, wake up at like 3 a.m bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. So I'm gonna try and get into a new book tonight because I finished mine on the plane. Um, so I downloaded, I think it's called like Darling Girls or something by Sally Hepworth. So I'm gonna try and get into that and start to read that. And then I have to figure out like what time we're waking up tomorrow. We don't have that yet. So we'll find that out soon. But yeah, I'm super stoked. And I wanted to close this vlog out here because I'm gonna start a new vlog tomorrow for like the entirety of the trip. So this will close out the prep with me, not really pack. We did do packing, but I didn't do like the planning and stuff. So I guess like pack, prep and travel with me to Kenya, kind of like the need to knows and all of that good stuff. But I'm so glad that I made it and I can't wait to see my friends and get a hopefully good night's sleep. But if you're not already subscribed, please make sure to do so. Like this video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one for our Kenya vlog. Love you all, bye.